The Yonex All England Open is the world's oldest badminton competition and is highly regarded by those involved in the sport. The prestigious tournament is one of the players' favorite events to compete in. For English shuttlers especially, it's a tournament close to their hearts. It's a home tournament for us. It's very special to be able to play uh, here in Birmingham. I remember when I was a, a kid like watching this tournament, you know, having very good memories of uh, coming here to watch like late nights, uh, like all the English players and even the foreign players. So yeah, for me to play here, it's quite special. Badminton Unlimited was in Birmingham recently to soak up the atmosphere of the All England, and we took the opportunity to catch up with Rajiv Yusuf as England's top men's singles player reflected on his career. I've had a, a long career. Uh, I, I'm happy with my achievements. Obviously, I think you always have a little bit of regrets here and there, but you know, for me, I've, I've managed to go to two Commonwealth Games and, and two Olympics so far. Um, and like you said, I've got quite a few European medals, you know, a lot of team medals as well. So, yeah, I've had, I've had a good career. I think there's, there's a little bit more, hopefully, to go. Um, but even when I finish, I would like to give something back to, you know, to the other the younger players. So, yeah, if that be coaching or, you know, advising or anything like that, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be very happy to do that and uh, give something back to English Babington. There are no plans for the world number 14 to hang up his racket just yet. And with the 2017 BWF World Championships being held close to home this year, the England player is hoping to do well at the major tournament. I've, I've never done that well in a World Championship, so obviously the World Championships this year in Glasgow are quite close to home. I'm not sure if we'll get good crowd support. Scotland and England have a bit of a rivalry, but hopefully we will. Um, I think I've got to a last 16 once. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a big goal for me to try and you know, get to the later stages. Obviously very difficult, men's singles, the depth at the moment is you know, crazy good. There's a lot of, a lot of like junior players coming through and the younger players coming through who are of a very good level. So yeah, if I can, if I can make my way into the later stages of that, of that tournament, I'll be very happy with that. And yeah, that's a big goal for me this year. With a strong crop of young players coming up the ranks internationally, the 30-year-old is finding it increasingly tough to keep pace in men's singles. There's a kind of a new generation of players who are coming through. You know, the, the Indonesians have got two or three youngsters who are, who are good. I mean, I've played a few of them who, who are good. Obviously, there's Antonsen from Denmark, I think. There's another young German guy, Fabian Roth, who's doing quite well at the moment as well. And there's probably, you know, probably quite a few guys from India who are, you know, stepping up as well. So, you know, men's singles are going to be very, very strong in terms of depth in the next couple of years. So, yeah, I think it's going to be difficult, but hopefully England can produce one or two players as well. Looking back, the English shuttler had a memorable 2016. He reached the last eight of the Rio 2016 Olympics and earned a podium finish for a third time at the European Championships when he won bronze in France. It was very important uh, meddling at the Europeans. I think for us it was kind of a case of trying to focus on certain tournaments through the year and the Europeans was one of those for me. Um, so yeah, it was great preparation. I had a really tough game against Hans Christian Wittingus in the quarterfinals. Um, to, to secure the medal, uh, obviously I know against him it's going to be a very difficult match. Um, so that gave me great preparation going into into like an Olympic Games. So yeah, it was important for me to to, to get that medal and hopefully I can carry out that on this year. Among all his performances in 2016, he has fond memories of Rio. Yusuf had a disappointing Olympic campaign at the London 2012 Summer Games after he failed to make it out of the group stage. So he was pleased to have bettered that display in Rio. I think uh, in London, I think we all, all the home players, put a lot of pressure on themselves to, to try and do well. And for one reason or another, it just didn't work out. Um, so yeah, I think I used that, you know, that, those sort of negative uh, memories, but tried to turn them into positives. And uh, yeah, I managed to, I think it was quite well, uh, quite good that I managed to play myself into the tournament in the, in the two group matches. I played quite well. And then yeah, going into my last 16 match, it was, I knew it was going to be a tough game, but I just thought, you know, you've done better than you, th than you did last time and you can just give everything and uh, see what happens. And yeah, I managed to do that. It was, it was like a great experience again. Um, I think in London, I was kind of in and out of the village because I was from London, so I could kind of go home and stuff. So yeah, being in Rio in the village, it was more, it's more immersive. You could kind of feel everything around there. And, you know, just outside our block, there was a tennis court where, you know, like Djokovic was just practicing with Boris Becker. So, you know, stuff like that just happening in and around the village is, is very exciting. And seeing, you know, top tennis players, golfers and all that sort of thing, you know, it's, it is very, very different, but also very exciting. So, yeah, 
the whole experience was a, a very, very good one. Against Tommy Sugiarto of Indonesia in the last 16, Yusuf played one of the best matches of his career, edging out the seventh seed to claim a quarter-final spot. I was, I was happy with my performance. I think before the tournament started, my, my aim was to get to the quarter-finals. Uh, so yeah, obviously very happy to, to get to the quarters. I mean, I played a great match against Tommy. I had a very bad record against him going into the game. So yeah, for me to, to obviously do better than I did in London and to beat him as well, that was in, in the most you know, sort of pressurised tournament was, was a, a, a big deal for me. I thought I could have played a little bit better in the quarterfinals, but I mean, Victor was playing very well and you know, he showed that by getting the bronze medal. So overall, looking back, it was a, a good tournament for me, a great experience and something I'll really look back on with uh, proud memories. In recent decades, English badminton has produced outstanding doubles pairs, but fewer top quality singles players, and Yusuf hopes his good performance in Rio can help inspire more youngsters to take up singles. England has always been quite a doubles sort of dominated country and hopefully I've helped put singles, you know, in a more positive, you know, aspect and I just want like if, if kids have the choice of playing singles and doubles, if if through a little bit of watching me play that they choose singles, I'll be very happy with that because, you know, for me singles is the premier event and uh, you get to keep it in prize money, which is a great thing. Uh, um, but yeah, you know, I think uh, you know, Lin Dan and Chong Wei, their battles over the years and even Chen Long as well now into the, into the picture. You know, these guys are, you know, superstars in the world and I think if we can maybe produce one of those in the years to come, then yeah, that would be a great thing. Rajiv Yusuf's love for the game is what keeps him going and hopefully we can see more of this passionate English shuttler on the big stage in 2017.